Good morning. My name's Bradley. I've come to join up. Ah, yes. Well, if you hang on a minute, I'll send you along to the recruiting office. Okay. You lucky, lucky boy. Oh, dear. Hello. Oh, Ginger. Look, my friend, we'll have to scrub around the dogs tonight. I know, but I can't get away. We've got this exercise on. We're all... The old butler never let me off. Not in a million years. Talk of the devil, here he is now. I'll ring you back. What's going on here, Gramps? What's this man waiting for? Oh, he's the, uh, the new recruit, sir. Wants to join the army. Well, don't leave him hanging about like that. I don't afford to lose any volunteers nowadays. Oh, on my lucky lad, you join me. Take out the recruiting officer. And uh, remember, don't want anything to go wrong today. So just stay on your toes. And take care of that rifle! Thank goodness you're not him. Not who? Him. For a moment, I thought you might be Creeper Crawford. Look, mate, I'm Corporal Grimes. Oh, Corporal, well, you're definitely not him. The way he was creeping, it'd be at least a Sergeant Major by this time. <laughs> well, it's nice to see the old depot again. Oh, yes. I joined up here, you know, 1942. Really? Yes. Well, what have you come back for, then? Ah, uh, here we are. <laughs> Grand Regimental Reunion Dinner, Ludgate Tavern, Fleet Street. <laughs> Come the wrong place, mate. This ain't the Ludgate Tavern. <laughs> you do surprise me. <laughs> Read what it says on the bottom. Medals will be worn. Exactly, medals will be worn. Now, I'll call back, back later. I'm just going to the hairdressers. Huh? Now, I want about half a dozen varying colors. <laughs> just a minute. What do you think this is? I can't give you any medals. Didn't you claim any when you were demolished? No, no. Oh, well, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. But I can't go to the reunion dinner improperly dressed. All my old comrades will be there. Titch, Lofty, Ginger, Shorty. And they're only the officers. <laughs> I can't do anything for you. But surely there's something, somebody. Oh, I think you'll have to have a few words with R.S.M. Butler. Very well, then, R.S.M. Just a minute, I'll give him a ring. <laughs> Hello? Ah, is, is R.S.M. Butler there, please? Oh. Would you ask him to come down the main gate when he gets back? Sure. Well, he won't be... <laughs> what are you doing down there? It's, it's still here, I see. What's still there? <laughs> the bully hole. The, the, the bullet hole? Yes. Yeah. Let me explain. It was the sergeant's fault. I was standing here presenting arms. He came along and said, hi, you fool. I thought he said fire. <laughs> he couldn't have been more upset if I'd hit him. Well, if he's ain't like the fellow we got here now, it's a pity you didn't, mate. Ah, I see the old wartime spirit still exists. <laughs> Were you uh, stationed here during the war then? Well, only for about five days, until I passed out. Five, five days? Mm. Do you mean to tell me you passed out after only five days? No, I passed out after the first day. <laughs> Just after rebellion. You see, the sergeant came along, he opened all the windows, and he shouted, everybody out, so I jumped out. <laughs> How was I to know I was on the third floor? <laughs> <laughs> it gave us quite a shock. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure it did. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. I just have a word with R.S.M. Butler. See if I can do anything for him. Charming, oh, uh, I wonder if I've forgotten all that old drill. Let's see. Just my flipping luck. You can do better than that work, you sloppy looking idiot. Very well, sir. <laughs> just my flipping luck. Oh, who goes there? <laughs> oh, I do beg your pardon. Did I frighten you? I'd better take that. <laughs> Good thing it's not loaded. Yes. Hey. Now, uh, you've been sworn in yet? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Has anybody sworn you in? Well, there was a bit of trouble at the main gate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say the man actually swore, but he was rather annoyed when I offered him a sixpenny tip. Who was? <laughs> he was a tall fellow. Commissioner type. Red band around his hat. <laughs> that was one of our senior staff officers. Oh. And you offered him a sixpenny tip? Fool, fool that I am. I should have made it a shilling. <laughs> now look. Yes. Is anybody attending to you? Well, the corporal's got gone to find someone to help me. Charming young man, isn't he? Not a bit like Creeper Crawford. Creeper Crawford? Yes, he used to be a corporal here. Keen type, shining white webbing, no brains. Oh. 
You've been in the army before, huh? Yes, that's why I'm here. Oh, well, nice to see one of the old lads coming back. Now, you better see Sergeant Major Kate. He helped you fill in the application form. Ah, no, trust the army. I thought there'd be a form to fill in. <laughs> They'll never mind as long as I get my medal. Now, down the corridor, the last on the left. Oh, oh, I do beg your pardon. I nearly forgot. Shilling for staff officers. Now, here's ninepence. That's sixpence for you, threepence for the corporal. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir, uh, no, Mr. Bradley. Yeah. You won't regret it. It's a grand life in the army. I will send for you in a couple of days. Good morning. Good morning. Next, please. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, good morning, sir. We'd like to sit down. Oh, thank you. Your oh, RSM sent me along here. He suggested I might get my medals. Medals? Mm. Oh, yeah, that would be uh, RSM Butler. Yeah. <laughs> Always was one for a little joke. Well, yeah. Yeah, medals, eh? <laughs> Uh, we'll get you some medals, all right. Good, I knew I'd done the right thing coming here. All right, now, first things first. What's uh, your name? Worth Harry. Harry Worth. Mm. Right. Now, Mr. Worth, just before we actually complete your uh, application form, I want you to answer a few simple questions. Yeah. These are specially designed to test your intelligence, mental coordination and adaptability. Yeah, it seems a rather strange way to get a few medals. Oh, well, you never get any medals unless you pass these tests, you know. Oh, well, in that case, I'm quite prepared to do whatever you say. Ah, uh, good, right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, number one, yes. intelligence. Now, uh, this is in the form of a memory test. I see. I'm going to tell you a little story. Are you? <laughs> I'm very stop on the stories. It's uh. <laughs> not rude, is it? <laughs> now, when I've told you this story, I'm going to ask you a few questions on it. Yes. You understand? Yes, yes. All right. There were two farms. Oh, I've heard this one. <laughs> Is it the one about the land army girl who goes into the barn and this farmer says... Do you mind? Oh, that's the one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Worth, may I finish my story? <laughs> yes, if you insist, but I've heard it. <laughs> there were two farmers, Jones and Brown. I beg your pardon, it's not the same story. <laughs> There were two farmers, Jones and Brown. Yeah, Jones, Jones yeah. found three of Brown's sheep one morning and decided to take them back to Brown's farm, <laughs> yeah. which was five and a half miles away as the crow flies, but seven miles by road. <laughs> it sounds marvellous. Go on. <laughs> That's the end of the story. <laughs> Yo, oh, farmers, Brown and Jones, crow fly. Yes, very good, very subtle, but I like it. <laughs> Mr. Worth, it wasn't a funny story. Oh, I don't know. I've heard worse. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the rent collector? Now, look, there are two farmers, Jones and Oh, no, Brown. no, no. I've heard the joke once. I can't laugh twice. It's very funny, but I can't laugh. Intelligence? Yes. No. <laughs> Right, number two, mental coordination, mm. word, word associations. Now, I'm going to say various words to you, and I want you to say the first thing that comes into your mind. Mm. You ready? Yes. Good. Bad. <laughs> now, you jump the gun there, Mr. Worth. We'll try again, shall oh, we? Right. Ready? <laughs> Coal. Uh, express cleaner. Express <laughs> cleaner. Now, think again, Mr. Worth. I'm sure you can find a better one than that. Oh, I don't think so. They're very good, especially if putting a crease in my trousers. <laughs> can I ask you to tell me what coal reminds you of? You expect me to believe it reminds you of the cleaners? Yes, I do. I could have said the Woodbridge Public Library, but that would have confused you. <laughs> yes, you're quite right, it would. Yet it's quite simple, really. You see, I went to the cleaners to collect my dress suit, but I hadn't got the ticket. But I remembered I'd been using the ticket as a bookmark in my library book. So I went along to the library to get the book, but the book was out, and you'll never guess where I found it. Oh, I did. Think I've got it? Yes. The coal man. Oh, it was me. <laughs> I'd forgotten to take it back. <laughs> What's all this got to do with coal? <laughs> well, I thought you would ask that. You see, it was the coal man who found it for me. I hadn't left it in my library book after all. You hadn't? No. It was pinned on the coal shed with a message. Please leave three bags of best nuts. <laughs> Mental coordination? Yes. <coughs> no. Oh. Oh, you don't seem to be very good at words, so we'll try something a little more practical, shall we? Practical? Now you're speaking my language. This I understand. Give me a hammer and a nail and I'm happy. <laughs> Look at that thumb. <laughs> Ah, uh, we have here a pile of bricks of various sizes. I want you to arrange them on the desk in front of you in size order, starting with the smallest on your left and finishing up with the biggest on your right. 
Yes. You understand? Yeah, no, 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 Good. No, no. You've got 15 seconds to complete this in, starting from now. Yeah. Adaptability. Really? <laughs> you sure you wouldn't like to join the Navy, would you? No, I don't think so. Pity. All right, regarding your service, just how long an engagement were you thinking of, eh? Well, I think that's a rather personal question. <laughs> but if it's of any interest to you, I rather favour a long engagement. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, shall we say, uh, 15 years? Oof, uh, well, yeah. Uh, Carrying caution a little too far, isn't it? <laughs> no, I think 18 months should be sufficient to get to know the girl of one's choice. That's enough. Yes. You're quite sure you want to go through with this? Mm. And you realise once you've signed this form, you've committed yourself? I do. Good. Sign it, then. Ah, oh, that's marvellous. There we are. <laughs> when do I get my medal? Medal? Yes. You'll get your medals, all right. <laughs> and stand to attention when you speak to me! And why that silly bit off your face? You're in the army now. Army? Yes, and you'll be sorry, you horrible little jump. You up. still here? Oh, yes. Uh, sorry, Sergeant Major. Seems to be a bit of a slip up here. Now, why didn't you say straight away that you only came back here for your medals? Yeah. Wait a minute. You trying to tell me this bloke didn't come here to volunteer? No. no. Volunteer? <laughs> what ever gave you that idea? <laughs> if you any queries about medals. Yes. You want the record office ah. down at the end of the corridor. Mm. Say I sent you. Yeah. And don't bother me again! No, I won't. Oh, by the way, get him to tell you that funny story about the two farmers <laughs> in the crow. <laughs> oh, ah, it's funny. Come in. Hey, what is home? I'm up here. Oh. <laughs> Where are you? Are you looking for somebody? You could have sworn there was somebody in <laughs> There was. Me. No, it couldn't have been you. A taller fellow than you are. I was standing on a ladder. That explains it. Well, look, I'm very busy. What is it you want? Well, I want to see my army records uh, about my medals. Your RSM sent me along. Well, it's a bit irregular. Mm. But if the RSM said it's okay, I'll have a look. Good. He said you would help me. Uh, what was the name? King. King. Yeah. <laughs> a nice fellow he was. I like that fellow. Just a minute. <laughs> Haven't you given me the wrong name? No, I don't think so. No, oh, oh, you were quick to spot that. Yes, yes. <laughs> I should have said Butler. Yes. <laughs> yes, Butler. King. King was the Sergeant Major. The RSM's name was Butler. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just about covers everybody in the depot. No, there was another fellow. He's a corporal. corporal. Never mind what he was. Just give me the name. Grimes. Grimes. Yeah, I'm right there. Corporal Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me, what is your name? Oh, my name is Worth. What's yours? <laughs> Jackson. How is it? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Just sit over there with him, sir. Now, what rank were you, Mr. Worth? Uh, well, before or after? What do you mean, before or after? Well, before I... or after I broke the Major's French window. <laughs> well, what difference does that make? Makes all the difference in the world. Before I was a Lance Corporal, after I was a private. <laughs> it was all caused by a little stone. You were reduced to pulling a stone through a window. <laughs> oh, no. I ran over the stone when I was driving. With a jeep went through the window. <laughs> You drove a jeep in through the Major's French window? No, that's the way I drove out. <laughs> I drove in through the door. 
Well, I suppose it's a silly thing to ask, but do you remember your service number? It wouldn't be a silly thing. I remember it perfectly. I had a very good system for remembering it. All I had to do was remember the first figure, and then it was quite simple. All right? Now, the second figure was half the number of the first figure, and the third figure was one less. Now, the fourth and fifth figure added together equaled the last figure, which was half the first figure. Uh, what was your number? That's the trouble I could never hear. The I'll try and trace your name. Walters? No. Wes? No. Witherspoon? No. Worth? That sounds familiar. What did you say? <laughs> Worth. That's it. I see you enlisted June the 8th, 1942. Ah, what a glorious day that was. I remember it perfectly. Oh, Auntie was very upset, you see. Huh? She thought I'd gone out to join the auxiliary fire service. <laughs> <laughs> and all the time you really intended to join the army? No, I intended joining the auxiliary fire service. <laughs> How was I to know all the uniforms look the same to me? Well, you're certainly got around during your service. Yes. May 1943, Royal Army Medical Corps. <laughs> yes. October 1943, Transferred Pioneer Corps. <coughs> 1st of February 1944, Transferred Royal Tank Regiment. Yes. 2nd of February 1944, <laughs> Transferred Royal Army Catering Corps. <laughs> May 1944, Missing. <laughs> ah, that was when I was in the 4th Panzer Division. <laughs> what? Uh, well, it was a mistake, you see. I'd gone out to get supplies. Now, I went to the wrong farmhouse and it was occupied by SS men. So, I said, take me to your leader. Now, after questioning me for a couple of minutes, he said, take him back to his own leader. <laughs> That's what he said, and he was very definite about it. I'll bet he was. <laughs> well, now, according to this lot, you're certainly entitled to some medals. Ah, oh, good. When you find them, give them a bit of a polish and let me have them, will you? No, oh, I can't do that. Uh, it's very simple, really. All you do is slip a button stick underneath, and if you've got no polish, you breathe on them rather heavily. <laughs> you breathe on them rather heavily. That's it, like that. <laughs> what I mean is the only person who can authorize the issue of your medals is your old CO. Ah, Captain Blackshaw, eh? <laughs> I was his Batman. Did you say Blackshaw? Yeah, <laughs> Beaky Blackshaw. Be Beaky, Beaky Blackshaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very Beaky funny. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing about. <laughs> well, you can laugh with a clock like you've got. <laughs> There's no need to be personal. <laughs> oh, Blackshaw's here. He's a brigadier now. Is he really? Well, good. Where can I find him? Well, he's got an office down the corridor, but he wouldn't see you today. He's far too busy. Oh, I'll take a chance. It's been quite an experience coming back to my old depot, you know. <laughs> I might see, meet someone else I know. You don't happen to know a natty girl by name, Annie. Oh, what a girl she was. Uh -huh. She had quite a soft spot for me. Most efficient girl in most ways, but they had to take her off the tea urn. Huh? Well, her glasses used to steam up and she used to give the wrong change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Annie. Annie Cleghorn, that was the name. I could tell you some stories about her. I'm not kidding you. You didn't know her then? I did. Oh, you did? I married her. <laughs> oh, well, congrats. Yes. <laughs> No? Still out of Jackson? Thought it'd be finished by now. Yes, so did I, sir. Blimey. What's the matter, Jackson? Did you see that bloke that just went out of here? You mean that idiot who's trying to get his medals? Yeah. Well, what about him? Well, according to this lot, he's never been officially demobbed. What? Yeah, look here. He went on leave on VE Day and never came back. <laughs> he's a deserter. <laughs> You can hear Blackshaw's office. Yes, you shall. Just a moment. Duty officer, sir. Here you go. Hello, Matthews. Everything ready? Yes, sir. Secretary will attack as soon as you 
give the word. Good. Just waiting for the weather report. Once I get the all clear, the balloon goes up. Bring me back in two minutes. Very good, sir. If anybody wants me, I'll be back shortly. Just going to check up on that weather report. Very well, sir. Ah, Brigadier Blackshaw. <laughs> you hadn't changed a bit. I'd recognize you anywhere. I beg your pardon. I am not the Brigadier. Oh, oh, I, I'm very sorry. You must be one of these men. I'm an officer in the Women's Royal Army Corps. Oh, are you really? Well, you don't have to worry. I won't breathe a word to a soul. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would like to see the Brigadier, and it's rather urgent. I'd like to see him before I go to the barber. Have you an appointment, sir? No, I don't think it's necessary. I only want a short back and side. <laughs> I mean, have you an appointment with a brigadier? Oh, no, but I think you'll see me. It's a personal matter. Well, he doesn't usually see any, anyone without a, an appointment, but, sir, if you'll wait a moment, I'll see if I can find him. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, they're not uniform. <laughs> Hello. Bad news here. How's the weather? Uh, just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be better. Not a cloud in sight. Good. That's all I want to know. The balloon's going up. Oh. I wonder if I can see from here. <laughs> uh, the Brigadier's out. Be back in a moment if you care to wait. I am the Brigadier. Oh, well, there you are. I said he wouldn't be a moment. <laughs> Who the devil are you? Ah, don't tell me you've forgotten. <laughs> 1944 and all that. 1944? Uh, did we serve together? Yeah, well, you're getting warm. I'll tell you what I'll do. Yes, I will do a little bit of mime and we'll see if you remember, shall we? <laughs> Ready? <sighs> remember? Are you from the ministry? <laughs> no. Wrong. <laughs> Try again. Look here, I'm much too busy to play games. What does all this mean? Well, I thought you'd have guessed I'm cleaning buttons. <laughs> And if, yes, if you don't mind me saying so, they're not as good as when I used to do them. Mind you, I let you into a little secret. <laughs> I used to use your toothbrush. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me you were one of my Batman? At last, it's coming back to you. I knew you'd get it if you tried it hard enough. I'm sorry, I still can't place you. No, but surely you remember the nickname you used to call me? Nickname? Yes, come on, hard, try hard, think, concentrate. Look, I've had a great number of Batman in my time. What year did you say you were with me? Well, it wasn't exactly a year. It was uh, just under a fortnight. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you'd never forget me. You leaned over your desk, waved your little stick and said, Worth, I'll never forget you as long as I live. Just a minute. Mm. Worth. Yes. Yes, now I remember. Uh -huh. France, 1944. Ha, 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 well done. Mm. <laughs> You were the lunatic who gave my dress uniform to the Red Cross. <laughs> yes, but it was for a good cause, bundles for Britain. I'm sure somebody was very glad of it. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> all right, Worth. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, Worth. <laughs> Mr. Worth, civilian. <laughs> well then, Mr. Worth. Ah, Harry. <laughs> I presume you have some good reason for coming here. Or perhaps you just dropped in for a chat about old times. After all, I've nothing else to do. You haven't. <laughs> Promotion hasn't changed you a bit. Why have you come here, civilian? <laughs> Why have you come here? Come for my medals. Look here, I am extremely busy. Ah, busy. That's the attitude, is it? A fine attitude towards an old wartime comrade. After all the hours I used to spend weeding your garden. Shoulder to shoulder we stood in your strawberry bed. <laughs> and who was it who bandaged your foot after we moved the rockery? All I'm asking for is the medals that I'm entitled to. Are you trying to tell me that you have come here without an appointment, wasting my valuable time simply in order to what? Hello! What? What do you mean the balloon's gone up? I wonder if I can see. <laughs> order? What order? Well, you better cancel it immediately. I do not care how far the second battalion have got to. The weather report is definitely unfavorable. Now listen, Matthews. I want to know who gave that order. From this office. Just one moment. Were? Yes, sir. Did you answer my telephone while I was out of the office? Yes, I did. I'll tell you something else. I can't see that balloon anywhere. <laughs> All right, Matthews, I think I've solved the mystery. You blundering midnog! Ah, at last! 
stupid man for this. <laughs> oh, my nickname, Nig Nog. <laughs> oh, it's just like old times. Not quite, I'm afraid. <laughs> this time I can't put you in the guardroom. You don't know how lucky you are being no longer in the service. Well, don't worry. Your time will come. You can't have much longer to do, can you? I don't know what the penalty is for assaulting a civilian, but something tells me I'm going to find out very soon. Excuse me, sir. Yes, what is it? Oh, good morning, sir. What's been going on here, Blackshaw? Captain Rock tells me that the maneuvers are already underway. I'm sorry, sir. I did my best to cancel it, but it was too late. Oh, no. Oh, yes. We've just had a report from the battle area. It's pouring down. All the tanks and gun carriers bogged down in the mud. It'll take us days to straighten this out. <coughs> Worse still, sir. I've heard the latest news. B Company is already attacked. They've captured the water tank, and they're heading this way. However, well, you mustn't worry, Brigadier. You can count on my help. I can. I still know how to use a rifle. So do I. Yeah. Well, there'll be an official <laughs> inquiry into this, Blackshaw. Whoever gave that order will be caught martialed. Where is he? The gentleman is right here, sir. Um, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't take any action as he is a civilian. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Who? What RSM? All right, put him on. Yes, Mr. Butler, what do you want? <laughs> Butler. Look here, I have no time to talk about... What was that name again? <laughs> Worth. Nothing since when? V.E. Day. You're sure you've got the name right? Yes, yes. And what does he look like? Black hair, glasses, five foot eight. Five foot nine. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Butler. This time the balloon really is going. Ah, oh, at last! <laughs> Sir, the condition has changed somewhat. I just had some very interesting news. Our <laughs> civilian is a deserter. Ah, oh, well, the weather's cleared up. You'll be able to get your tanks out of the mud. <laughs> I say the weather's cleared up. You'll be able to get your tanks out. Now, gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Sir or madam, I appeal to you. Now you can get your tanks out of the mud. The weather's cleared up. There's nothing. Yes. So you see, I got my medal after all. Pity about the mix up over my demobilization, but we got things straightened out in the end. <laughs> all right, Worth. Yes. You've had your exercise. Prisoner escort, fall in. Yes. Mark, tank. Up, turn. One, two, three, four. Right, turn. One, two, three. Quick, man. <laughs> Good morning. My name's Bradley. I've come to join up. Ah, yes. Well, if you'll hang on a minute, I'll send you along to the recruiting office. Okay. You lucky, lucky boy. Oh, dear. Hello? Oh, Ginger. Look, I'm afraid we'll have to scrub around the dogs tonight. I know, but I can't get away. We've got this exercise on.
Uh, old butler never let me off. Not in a million years. Talk of the devil, here he is now. I'll ring you back. What's going on here, Gramps? What's this man waiting for? Oh, he's the, uh, the new recruit, sir. Wants to join the army. Oh, well, don't leave him hanging about like that. Can't afford to lose any volunteers nowadays. Oh, on my lucky lad, you join me. Take out the recruiting officer. And uh, remember, don't want anything to go wrong today. So just stay on your toes. And take care of that rifle! Thank goodness you'll love him. Not who? Him. For a moment, I thought you might be Creeper Crawford. Look, mate, I'm Corporal Grimes. Uh, Corporal, well, you're definitely not him. The way he was creeping, it'd be at least a Sergeant Major by this time. <laughs> well, it's nice to see the old depot again. Oh, yes. I joined up here, you know, 1942. Really? Yes. Well, what have you come back for, then? Ah, uh, here we are. <laughs> Grand Regimental Reunion Dinner, Ludgate Tavern, Fleet Street. <laughs> Come the wrong place, mate. This ain't the Ludgate Tavern. <laughs> you do surprise me. <laughs> Read what it says on the bottom. Medals will be worn. Exactly, medals will be worn. Now, I'll call back, back later. I'm just going to the hairdressers. Huh? Now, I want about half a dozen very 